Hey everybody, I here. Welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper 500 Day Challenge Series. This will be part 17 and we are on day 28. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Uh, so we just killed the wolf over here, quartered it up. I'm just going to drop a... It's a temperature out here, negative 13. It's a little cold. I'm going to drop these out here. Um, we're going to harvest these up one at a time. I don't think it really... Could have, I guess I could have just taken both in here and did it right in here, but uh, we'll do that. We're going to probably eat some wolf meat. We didn't risk the, uh, you know, you get a chance of, of getting parasites if you do that, but it'll be worth it. We're going to fill up and then we're going to head on over to Milton. Maybe we'll check down here and see if there's a bear. We might hunt, hunt the bear first if it's just like a couple hills over to it to, towards the track. So anyway, let's get started here by uh, carving this up. And uh, not much there to carve up, but yeah, we'll just use our hand, save our tools. Also help us warm up a little bit. Get a drink here. So we got some bear steaks, or not bear steaks, but wolf steaks. I wish they were bear steaks. All right, let's get a drink of water. Oh, we have a chance here. There we go, all right. I gotta figure out tactic. Oh, it looks like it's a nice day, but I guess it's a little cold. All right, so we'll leave the, we'll leave the meat right here where it's easily, easily seen. And we'll dip back inside here. And uh, carve some more of this up here. Let's see what we got here. Another 2.1 kilograms of meat. Uh, let's go to it here. Probably drink a little bit of that tea. I think I have some tea. Don't I? Let's check. Yeah, I got an herbal tea. So, or birch bark tea, same thing. So we'll drink that tonight. We'll fill up and then uh, go from there. But uh, let's... Uh, Let's uh, drop these here. Oops. There we go. All right. I have a rabbit over here, do we? Might be a rabbit. Yeah, it's hard to say. But uh, negative eight degrees Celsius. Not too bad. If we can, we'll try to bring the bear over. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's right there. Wonderful. Um, let me try to find a good spot to uh, take a shot at him. Probably up here. Um, is there any good? Spots where I can definitely hit him and run. So I'll, I'll kite him up this way. Shouldn't be too hard to bring him up this way. Exactly what I was looking for. That's probably not what I want to use. That's better. Alright. So that means he's locked onto us a little bit. As long as we keep this distance, he should sort of, sort of just follow us. Like that. Now if he rears back on his back legs, gets too close. Rears back, that means he's about to charge, so... That's when you want to get away from them pretty quick. So I think what I'll do is I'll just uh, kind of get over here onto these rocks where he can't get me, hopefully. Oops, made a wrong turn. There we go. Still on me? Yeah, I think he is. Let's get up here. Yeah, angry there. Can I climb up here? I want to get up here where he can't get to me. If it'll let me. Yeah, this should work. Pretty decently. I don't think he can get to me from here. I gotta stand, that's right. Alright, let's try to make this one count. Should be good here. I think I got him twice. Oh, well, we definitely want to get those arrows back. Don't want to fall off here. about dead. Turn him into a pair pin cushion. I think I missed that one. One left. Missed him. I don't think he's going to go too far with all this. Keep an eye on her. Tracker, see when he drops. Uh, it would have been great if I could have got a headshot on, but uh, I can hear him still. I 
bears killed. Zero <laughs> at the moment. So. Alright, we could go track him a little bit. See if I... There's blood everywhere. Well, that kind of worked out good. Wasn't expecting that. But, uh... I think I lost an arrow over this way. At least one. Yeah, I think I see it over here, actually. A rabbit right there. Or is that a stick? That might be a stick. Oh, there's an arrow. Alright, so we got two now. And I know there's one that... That last one I fired at him. Didn't quite work out. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll go ahead and while we're waiting for him to bleed out, I'll just go ahead and take this rabbit down. Get an extra little something to eat here. On the bounce. Oh, there goes another rabbit. Just drop him. Take this one too. I guess I'm out of rocks. Need some more rocks. Okay. Yeah, I might want to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and track him. Because uh, the weather's changing. And I don't want to lose that blood trail. So I'm going to take this up here. Right here. There's a... Right in a tree. <laughs> Alright, so we got that one back. Did I put any in the house? I don't think I put any in the house. Alright, let's head on down here. We got a few of these back. There's another one. Alright, and there should be another one right down here as well. Somewhere. There it is. Okay, there we go. So, so he should be bleeding cold. like crazy through here. So the fact that I don't see tracks and don't see any bleeding at all. Maybe a little nervous. Let's see if uh, he's dropped yet. Uh, let's see here. Bear's killed. Still zero. So he's still alive. Alright. I don't know how. He's literally full of arrows. Oh, here he is. He's right there. He's walking down. We're just going to sit back and watch him. It's getting cold, but... Yeah. So we know he's going to be in this area. Um, probably just let him die. Uh, and then come back to this area. So we know he's going to hang out here and die. Uh, uh, we just wish it wasn't so cold out here. Could probably start a little fire. Stay warm and, and keep an eye on him. But he's, uh, yeah, he's hurting. So, get a better look at him there. All right. Well, be nice to get that pelt and a bunch of meat. Uh, we can at least start leveling up or cooking a little bit. Uh, we got some rabbits over there to eat as well. But we need to get inside. And uh, I'll probably do a little bit of cooking in here while we're killing time. Some wood over there if we need it, but... Definitely need to warm up first. So let's uh, let's harvest up this rabbit. All right. Okay, put this away. Let's see, what do I got to eat here? Just a couple of those. Yeah. Mm, I guess we'll just uh. Yeah, let's drop the rabbit right here for now. Then I'll grab I'll grab this uh wolf meat. We'll just cook it up. Alright. There we go. Yeah, let's check her. So we got a couple of those. Six of those. Thirteen. Yeah, we're in good shape. So we can definitely get a nice fire going here. There we go. Plus, we could probably use a little bit more water. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. I think we'll be able to cook up all of this. I'll do the I'll do the rabbit a little bit later. We can just leave the rabbit meat here and uh, get the guts and hide curing um, for when we stop by here on the return trip from uh, Milton. We'll just pick up these hides. Hopefully, the wolf hide, the rabbit hide, and the bear hide will all be uh, close to being ready. All right, fire starting up to two. Wonderful. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably yeah let's let's go ahead and just cook. And uh, we want the bigger piece in there. I think it cooks a little bit faster. I'll cook a small piece here just to get it out of the way. Let's. There we go. Small piece. 
That'll work. That'll only take a couple minutes. And it's going to take forever to cook. That's all right. Add some fuel. Let's see here. Not that. We'll get rid of some of this reclaimed wood. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Get this in my stomach. Oh, you know what? I don't think I want to do that with the small piece because it's going to give me a 1% chance um, of parasites, even if it's a tiny little itty bitty piece. I should save that a little bit later when I'm maybe super desperate, but I want to eat the bigger pieces. So I'm going to put the small cooked piece out here for now. Oh, I got them all picked up. I want these raw pieces. There we go. Leave that fresh piece down there. Let's check and see if we got uh, credit for the kill yet. Uh, bears killed one. There we go. So he's probably down there somewhere. So, all right. I could I could wander on down there, but let's get another. Let's check on this in what, an hour and 13, 36 minutes. Yeah, we got time. Let's let's head on down there see if we can locate him before it gets too nasty. Um, just so we know where it's at. I'm guessing it's going to be right around here where he was kind of wandering around, injured. I think he was done fleeing at that point. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab another rabbit or two. If they're available down here. Alright, let's take a quick peek over here. There he is. Yep, he's dead over there. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this rabbit. I'm not going to quarter him up or anything like right now, because... I don't have the time to do it. I'll end up burning those steaks. But at least we know where he's at, so we can, in the morning, we can come back out here when our health is a lot better and we're not, you know, about 20%. What am I doing? I'm grabbing the wrong, wrong items here. Bounce into him. <laughs> I got him fleeing every which way. Reset. Just do a reset. There we go. All right, I think I can get this one. On the bounce. Oh, I'm dropping raw steaks. I forgot I had raw steaks on me. Get this one real quick. Oh, you know what? Let's collect these arrows first. I don't know if it matters or not, but as well. And then we can grab some of these feathers. What else? There's got to be another one in here, right? I was turning them into a pin cushion, basically. All right. Need to grab another. shots of this rabbit. Oh. <laughs> Making sure he's dead, I guess. Alright, let's grab our meat and go. Probably we'll pulling these wolves. So let's grab these. Super stinky. Alright, let's get on out of here. Let's get on back inside. That's a good way to start the episode, man. Nice bear hunt. We've got ourselves a wolf, a bunch of rabbits, a bear. Well, a wolf was a carryover from the last episode, but you know what I mean. And we're going to hold up here, do some recovery, cook. And the nice thing is we're going to be able to cook up some uh, rabbit meat, too. I don't think we took 36 minutes to do all that, like, in-game minutes. I think we're going to be okay. Even then, you still get a little bit of a grace period before it burns. I think it's like another 30 minutes or something. I normally, I normally try not to... Cold is making my head feel thick. Don't fake too much with that. Alright, we're gonna drop... Uh, we're gonna keep it all, I guess. Put the rabbit here. Alright, so we got this cooking here. 55 minutes until burn. So there we go. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, that's not what I want. I'm going to place that back down there. And cook another uh, big...
big old gamey meat here. There we go. There we go. All right, I'll just, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this rabbit outside. Just drop both of these right out here. Ooh, get nasty. Glad I found a, the, the bear, though. I had a feeling it was gonna end up back that way. So, that's good. We got three rabbits, jeez. Wonderful. And I'm gonna drop one of these uh, meats right here. There we go, the cooked one. Wonderful. After this, we'll do a little water cooking. Thought, I thought I had another pot here when I passed that. I thought that was a pot, but I guess. I need to find a place to rest. Just seeing things. Let's get another one over there. I can make a herbal tea. I guess I could do that. Yeah, have two of them. Um, yeah, let's do that. So I'll probably need one tomorrow too. Oh, that's just heating it up. Oh, do I have? I guess I have. Oh, I think I, I guess I have more than one. I was thinking it was cooking it, or you know, cooking it. Is it just warming it? Oh yeah, I guess I have two of those. See, I thought I only had one. They must have put them in different places in inventory or something. Well, let's just knock this one out. Yeah. They're a bit, they're a bit off, but that's okay. Four percent cured. All these are cured. Well, cured. That one's cured. Okay. I got one of these rabbits in that amount of time, or I don't know if we'll be able to harvest a rabbit in that amount of time. I think it's 20 degrees. Let me uh, go over here. See what happens when I get protected? I think it was six. That's not too bad. Might be able to. Let's see what we can do with this rabbit. No tools. Yeah, 21 minutes. That's an hour and 33. That's too long. Yeah. What I could do is I could go ahead and just take the meat off of it and cook the meat. How are we doing on our fire? Not too bad. I think that's what I'll do. Let me see here. An hour, 23 minutes. Um, it should be pretty close. It should be pretty close. Yeah, at 21 minutes, that'll be perfect. So let's just go ahead and do that. Be really close here. That way if I need to supplement some of this predator meat. Okay. Now let's cook some more of the wolf meat here. Take six minutes. Take 36 minutes. Okay. Let's finish this one off. Okay, let me go grab another rabbit here to grab meat off of. We'll grab this one. Anything else I can cook in here? I guess I could cook this rabbit. 28 minutes. That'll be pretty close. It's 26, 28, and I think it'll take 21 again. Probably if it's the same size. Uh, did I pick up the same one? I picked up the same one. Or wait, hold on. That one, I grabbed the. You can always tell by the weight. That one's a that one's a light lightweight rabbit. Now that I've taken all the meat out of it, so we want this one to harvest. There we go. It'll be close. 23 minutes. We'll check on our fire too. That was a good time. Three minutes on the stove. Perfect. All right, wonderful. Well, let's see what else we can put here on here. Two pieces of rabbit meat. Are we leveling up our cooking? Is that what that was? Sounded like it. Yep, we're up to level three. That's good. One minute until ready. <laughs> 19 minutes on the stove, so let's go ahead and add a little bit of fuel here to it. Add a couple of reclaims. There we go. Grab that out of here. 31 minutes until that's ready. Anything else we can cook. I can go skin another rabbit, so I think I'll probably do that. Let's do that real quick. And before we leave, we'll go ahead and make sure we, uh, make sure we skin the rabbit and get the guts curing here as well. Alright. How are we doing here? Hour and 19 minutes. Good. Where's our heavy rabbit? There. Ooh, that's a that's a chunker right there. Yeah, that's a chunker. Twenty six minutes on that harvest. Don't worry about our health. We'll be okay. We'll be alright. Put this on the Barbie here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and cook that. Twenty seven, twenty six. Nice Good timing on that. Can I repair anything real quick? Let me check. Or anything, it's my condition. 
Uh, this is all pretty good shape. I yeah, I need some cloth. Okay. Did I tear up some cloth? Or have I ravaged? I always want to tear this piece off right here. But uh, I think I can... I thought you could bust these up and get like cloth and wood out of it, but apparently not. I think I've ravaged this place pretty well. I think probably the next place we're going to find cloth is going to be over in Milton. Uh, no big deal. We could just bust up this crate, crate if we wanted to. For 15 minutes, we could do that. Give us a little bit of extra wood for... Uh... There we go. Three minutes until burn. We don't want that. We don't want that. We can always bust up this bench, too. 30 minutes. There we go. Add a little wood here. Reclaimed wood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably find more coal and things like that I as we go. Find so some water. That's not the worst. Yeah. yeah, we're okay with water, but I prefer not to have to start another fire anytime soon. So we'll grab that. Let's see here. What else do I want to do? I can always put this over here. And we can start doing some water here, just so we have some ready to go. And I think I got some dirty water up here that I can go ahead and add to this one. Let's boil this up. Oh, it's not much at all. One minute. <laughs> Wait, it said one minute. What the heck? I was saying two? It's double the time I was promised. It says 51 until melted. So, yeah, I think I'll probably just add a few sticks here. Get us up to about three hours. And we're cold. There we go. Oh, yeah. Get a drink here. And then we'll cook up some water and we're gonna have, we're gonna have lots of meat and uh, oh yeah, we're super, super stinky right now. I'll tell you that much. We've got lots of good, good meat here to eat. Um, is it, that's fresh. That's cooked. Okay, and that's cooked. Okay, good, good. So, I'm just gonna drop all the stuff I got here. Move these carcasses over here, just to keep them straight. There we go. Oh, you know what? I probably don't want these frozen. They're harder to work with when they're frozen. Think about that, but we'll put that meat out there. That way, the, it it deteriorates uh, slower. So 20 minutes until boil dry. Let's see what we can do in 20 minutes. Our rabbits here. We'll get the hide. That's 30 minutes. Can we do guts? That's 30 minutes. What if I use a tool? I hate using a tool, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, until boil dry. Oh, it's ready to go. Okay, so I'm just going to do another water. 17, 35. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. Let's do that. Let's go and grab the uh, hide off of there. Those two water should be ready to go. That guy's so tired. Yeah. It'll be okay. Could go ahead and uh, have some coffee, honestly. Just to keep us from... Eh, we'll be okay. I miss it until dry. Another one of those. Yeah, we're still good here. All right. So tired. So we got this rabbit. Let's go ahead and grab the guts off of this one. Take 36 minutes. I think I can. I think I can harvest these in the dark. I don't think that's a problem. So I'm not too worried about that. But I'm just looking to do something productive while I while I'm here. I guess you know what I could do. I could always drop this on the floor and get it curing. Even though it's just a few minutes. I guess every little bit helps, right? So gut. Take that. Dwindling away here. I wonder what it'd be like. It, you you died from fatigue and hunger, surrounded by food. <laughs> Four minutes until boiled. There we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. All right. I might just go ahead and get some sleep here. Yeah, and just let this stuff kind of. You no, know, I could take it off. I could do is I could just drink some coffee. I got so much coffee. Let's just do that. Let's just have a coffee. I know I have coffee. It's not showing up on my radio wheel. I can't put everything on my radio wheel. Where's my coffee? Did I not make any coffee? I must not have. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's just drink that. Add a keeps me from getting hungry too. All right, there we go. Forty minutes to boil dry. Yeah, we got another. We got time for a little bit more here. 54 minutes. 
I think we're good. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. So I don't want to uh, try to do anything while this is going here. So I guess I'll take this rabbit skin and like, put it up here somewhere. If I can find a spot. Just find a spot. Where were you? There we go. Then I have some guts on me here. Grab a carcasses. Move these over here for now. Maybe work with them in the morning. Yeah. There we go. I think that's all the guts. Looks like it. Yeah. Okay, I won't worry about these rabbit carcasses now. I'm just going to focus on... On the, the water here at this point. In there, we've got plenty of water. Let's just go ahead and pass time here. They're melted. Yeah, let's just go ahead and pass time. See, it's four minutes to boil. That'll be perfect. I can go to sleep and let the fire go out, and it's not going to dry it out because it'll it'll go out four minutes after this gets done, and we'll wake up to clean water. So, perfect. The caffeine just wore off too. So, um, I think we'll go out and eat some wolf meat. Um, now let me take a look here. I don't think I'm carrying any of that. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab some of that. Should be 700 and very close to what is this? 770 calories. Yeah, I'll take that. Jump back inside. Drink a little herbal tea first. And eat that. Uh, herbal tea's not in that menu. Not in that menu. There it is. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's do the birch bark tea. Just for giggles. Now we're fully hydrated, which is good. And I'm gonna eat this. Make us a little bit thirsty. We'll top it off with a little bit of water. So we got a risk of intestinal parasites. Should be 1%. Um, yeah, it's 1%. So we could get it, but chances are very low. Alright, so we got enough to sleep that amount of time. We're well hydrated. Let's sleep and recover a lot of our condition there. Then we'll go out and deal with the bear. Fortunately, he's going to be frozen. So, But we'll, have, we'll quarter him up, probably. Alright, there we go. So Let's get a drink. Go out and quarter this bear up. Bring back a ton of meat. Could eat a horse. Okay. How are we doing here? Just a risk of intestinal parasites still. It's negative 29 degrees. That's that's pretty cold. It seems a bit windy. Um, I might hang out inside and do the uh, the rabbits here. Wait, is there something raw here? Somehow I missed that. Is that a big piece? That's only 83 calories. I'll put this over here so I don't accidentally eat it. Yeah, it's only 83 calories. That would have been like a two minute cook or something. Oh well. Um, so, since it's so cold outside, I really can't go out there and harvest. So let's try to do a little... What, what do we need to get off of this? We need to get the guts off of this. Let's see if it warms up a little bit as the sun rises up a little bit. Morning warms up, hopefully. Uh, let's go ahead and... Well, we're done with this, aren't we? Oh, we still got the hide left. Okay, let's do that. Get something to eat. There we go. Wonderful. Okay. And drink just to... I have to worry about that. So we got herbal tea and a coffee. We got some more coffees to make if we need it. Still got that soda can that we're carrying around. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just drop our hide and our guts. There we go. And I can just put these over. Uh, rotate these around. There. And I don't know if this will fit up there or not, but we can try. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. There we go. Alright, so we got a this little batch of things being made there. I think we have we have plenty of rabbit hides at this point. I don't think we really need any more. Um so but we can always use I just want to make sure. So you know what? Before we do this, let's check and see what the weather's like, because it might be really nice. Still pretty cold. Yeah, still pretty cold. Um, 
Might want to go gather some wood or something like that to uh, make a fire. Quarter this thing up. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's do the rabbit again. See what we're at, where we're at with the uh, temperature. Negative twenty-three. It's just really cold. If it's still that way, I'll just bite the bullet and have to take a bit of a condition hit, either getting fuel for fire or, or something like that. But all right, which I'll probably do. I'll probably do that. I'll probably just get the fuel for the fire. Let's drop all that stuff. And yeah, still get the hide on me. I don't think I can fit that up there. There we go. Can I fit it up there? There we go. So let's drop the rabbit hide. So it's not a decoy. Uh, it looked like it was in there. Let me fit it in there. I saw green there for a second. Alright, well, whatever. Fit over there. How about here? There we go. Okay. Well, double check, make sure I don't have any sticky lines. I'm clear. Number 23. Okay, well. Let's go out here and. It's kind of windy. That's the thing that bothers me. I have a feeling the fire is going to go out. So, let's just harvest this thing up and eat the 20% cold hit. That's going to happen. Then we'll recover again. When I came around that corner, I was like, oh no, another bear. Okay, I think we're good on the stones now. I think we're going to have any rabbits here for a minute. Feels like negative nine if we could get into protected area. Unfortunately, he died like right, right there. It's not, I don't think that's a protected area. Yeah, unfortunately. No. I think it's going to take about an hour and a half to cut this bear up. So we're going to lose a decent amount of health, but it's got to be done. At least we have to hide. That's the biggest thing for me. He's frozen. All right. Order it up. Two hours. Oh, this is gonna hurt. But let's let's do it. Uh, more than fifty percent frozen, of course. So that's right. I forgot about that. Let's go up here and cut up some wood, because we should be protected on this hill. I think we can get this. Yeah, there we go. So we should shouldn't freeze too quickly. Then we gotta actually. Are you gonna let me up here? I need to get up here. Oh, that's a cedar limb. Cool. We'll take it. Am I protected? Not really. Of course. Alright, let's just get the cedar limb. Of course. Alright, let's head on back. Is it my wrist? That was hurt. I'll deal with the pain. I think you're worried about it. We just gotta get back and get warmed up. There we go. Never felt so cold in my life. Yeah, so we're gonna have to wait until the wind dies down a little bit and uh, start a fire out there. Warm that thing up to so melt the uh, thaw it out a little bit. That's definitely a priority. Negative 15. Not too bad, but let's see what happens here in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust up this little wood bench while we warm up. Maybe what else can I bust up? Can I bust this thing up? Oh, I can. That's pretty nice. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. All right, let's go see what the weather looks like. We have plenty of... Uh, it's a sprained wrist, so that's not good. Uh, I should probably go ahead and bandage that up. So, yeah, let's go ahead and use it on our sprained wrist. That way we can shoot a bow if we need to in self-defense. All right, let's see what it looks like out here. It's foggy. Normally that means... Uh, normally that means we're... A little bit warmer. It's negative three. That's not bad. 
It's not bad. We'll get a fire going. Uh, fog is good because it's not windy either. It's not fog doesn't put your fire out. So yeah, let's move out of here and get this fire going and uh, take advantage of this. Let's harvest this thing up while we can. What are we doing on intestinal parasites still? One percent there. That's okay. really that tired so we got some cedar wood and we got some uh, reclaimed wood things like that we probably gonna get some extra feathers here too that'll be nice but first things first let's get this fire going and also keep us warm while we while we go to work here um, I don't know I guess we'll put it right over here on the side of them um, let's do our good old torch method here we don't burn through an extra match unnecessarily. There we go. Wonderful. That looks good to me. Yeah, six cedar woods and a bunch of replay. We got plenty of wood, so should be good. Should be good. I'm actually, this is one of the few times I'm actually like really glad to see the fog. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're kidding me. I really wanted this one. Come on. But you're not going to let me put it on my footprints? There we go. Torch, see what you Okay. We'll just hang out here while it, uh. Come on. Just have to hang out here while it, uh, thaws a little bit. There Turned we go. Turned out pretty well. After that, throw a few pieces of this on here. There we go. Get rid of some of this. Reclaimed wood. I don't want to put any more on there. I think we're good. We're good there. Uh, yeah, he's he's warming up pretty quickly. As you can see, it was 100% frozen. Now it's already down to 91. So, yeah, we'll just hang out here and stay warm and enjoy ourselves. Where the campfire. Maybe cook. Uh, I don't have any pots on me, apparently. It's okay. I'm not going to bother with that. So how long is it going to take me? Got a lot of meat. <laughs> I wonder how long it's going to take. It's going to take two hours. That won't be bad. Yeah, we got plenty of fire for that, so... Get him quartered up. I just don't want to leave him. I think if you leave him about three days, they'll just disappear. The carcass will eventually just be, be gone. So, I think it's the same if you quarter them and you leave the bags where they're at. They'll, uh... You have about three days to harvest up those bags as well. So the plan was to get to Milton or hunt the bear. I guess we're hunting the bear since opportunity presented itself. What am I doing with arrows? I'm curious. I guess I could always just bring it out. Got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine? Is that the original? That's how many I had, right? I think so. This one's almost broken though. I get one more hit on this one. Then we'll have to harvest it and grab the arrowhead and whatever's left of the feathers. We'll have to try to find a new uh, new shaft for it. Shaft will be what breaks first. All right. So yeah, we're just waiting, killing time. Could probably go up there and harvest more of that wood up there with a torch. I could grab a torch from here or fire up my torch and go do that. But as it is right now, this is pretty good. Air temperature's good. Feels like neg or feels like plus 21 degrees Celsius. So, we'll take it. For sure. Oh, this is exciting. I wish I could advance time until he was thawed. You know, that'd be kind of nice. I guess I could take a hide off while we wait. 36 minutes to hide it, to take the... Now, my question is, if I take the hide off, is that going to make it so that I can't quarter... Because that's definitely the most efficient way to do it. Um, I mean, how long is it for 10 guts? Yeah, that takes a long time. See, it's, it's a way longer to do that than just quartering them. Might as well just quarter them because you get all the guts right there. Um, yeah, we're just going to wait it out. We're, we're getting close. No point to get impatient at this at this juncture once we, we've come this far. Oh, 
I'm gonna look around for feathers. There's gotta be some feathers around here. Here's the crows. Right above us. Haven't dropped any yet, apparently. Mega three degrees over here. So. Yeah, the temperature's not bad. Let me get a little further from the fire. That's not bad at all. Yeah. It's pretty tolerable. Now, I wonder if this bear does like this area right here. Like, this is his little valley. I think this one is the next one. I wonder if I can actually get up this tree. Is this a climbable tree, or is this inaccessible? I might have made it inaccessible. I wish you could just jump a little bit in this game. Yeah. It is what it is. Used to be able to climb up those and hunt, hunt from up there where they couldn't get to you. Which made sense. Getting close. Close. Now, if your harvesting skill gets pretty good, at, you can harvest, you can quarter up completely frozen animals. But we're not there yet. Let's take a look here at our skills. So, carcass harvesting, yeah. Can harvest 50% by hand. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, cooking, 15% more calories from any cooked item. No calorie loss from smashing cans. Cooking time is reduced by 10. Once we get to 5, that's where it really helps. So we can start eating really nasty food and uh, we don't have to worry about predator meat uh, causing parasites. Archery, we're getting better at that. So our bow sway already is reduced by 25 and arrow distance increased by 10. Bending is worth doing pretty good. Obviously, rifle firearm, we're not going to level that up at all. Ice fishing, yeah, we're still, still learning. 55% chance to start fires. Like this, like a base stat. Fires last 10% longer. I like that part, for sure. Okay, so we're 48% frozen. So we should be able to harvest this thing up. It said I could do it by hand. Why can't I do it by hand? Oh well, let's use the improvised knife, I guess. Doesn't matter. Yeah, okay, let's quarter it up. Maybe it's harvesting, not quartering. Maybe that's what they meant by that. Okay, so we got all these bags of meat. And, uh... All these guts and stuff. So, we're gonna take this hide first. And, uh. These fresh guts I can. Okay. Alright, let's 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 move. Uh, how heavy am I? 25. I can't run. Let's not do that. I wanna be able to run. So, let's start moving this back. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. All right, let's go. There's this little den. This little hidey hole. Oh, uh, yeah. That's this cave. Bear cave. Now, at least I'm not, I don't have to do any work. I just have to transport things. So, um, yeah, I might just go ahead and drink some herbal tea. Get some, get some good rest. Probably eat another wolf meat. And take the chance on it. It should go up to two percent, I, I believe. Either two or four. I think it goes up exponentially. So, and then uh, just get some good sleep, and then we can do, go do the transport in the morning. But it is kind of nice outside right now. That's the thing. I could always drink another cup of coffee as well. Run over there, brew up some more coffee. Um, for the road. So I can do that while I'm making my trips back and forth. Might do that. Because you can see that we're starting to get hit with a little bit of a carry penalty due to our our fatigue level right now. We're a little tired. So I may, I'll try to get a few of these bags over here. I could also, uh, well, I don't really want to harvest anything over there. I guess I could harvest up something and get some stakes going over there too. Since I got a fire. It seems like I'm. It seems like it's just better use of time just to get the stuff over here first. Well, let's get the bear hide in here, curing straight away. I don't care where we put it. Let's just drop it where we can. All right. So she's curing. Good. I might go ahead and drink that coffee now because it's not bad outside, honestly. Yeah. I do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, let's do that before we pick up the next bag. We'll probably just go up and over this hill. Might be the fastest way. I don't think it really matters. 
sure I'm not sticky. I'm not good. Nine arrows, not bad. I was hoping he wasn't going to run off and disappear like that deer. All my arrows stuck in him. That would have been uh, like night is coming. a bit disastrous. I mean, well, we'd, we'd persevere, we'd soldier on, but that would have just kind of sucked a little bit. Unnecessarily. I'll go this way. Uh, I guess this is how you get to that piece of wood I was trying to harvest earlier. Yeah, this might not be the best option because uh, just a sprain wrist. Risks right there. Yeah, that piece of wood over there. But let's move with some purpose here. That really shouldn't be running. Okay. And I'm not I, sure I can carry much more. If I sit here and harvest this, I'm gonna wonder. I wonder if I'm gonna bring in wolves while I'm harvesting this. That's my concern. 40 minutes. Uh, that's too long. Yeah, let's just get going. Let's not get too cute with it. Oh yeah, let's drink our coffee. There we go. Wonderful. Well, I guess if we get by a wolf, I can drop this thing as a decoy and get a wolf. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully with a headshot and one-shot him. Yeah, my main concern was not being able to run. Our, our capacity went up just a little bit. Like our, our carry ability there. I think it was right, right around 23 or so. That's no, like 26. So. Just in case. We're double stinky. That's the only reason why I'm a little concerned. Because I know there's a wolf that likes to hang out over there. I don't know if double stinky is enough to pull him up over that hill or not, but be a little careful. Yeah, I gotta take advantage of this decent weather. Yeah, the negative eight degrees. It's not bad. No wind. Um, to get the stuff transported over here, carved up. All right, there we go. On to the next one. Hungry again. <laughs> Could probably go ahead and eat my two cat tails, honestly. How are we doing on the carrot? No, we're still at risk of the parasites. Like an empty pit. Might just do the uh just do the rabbits. Eat the rabbits. Leave the wolf meat for my return trip from uh, Milton. I'm sure we're gonna find at least a couple cans of something in Milton. I just don't wanna leave that I don't wanna leave that uh area for too long. I know it's not good to like waste your fire materials like that, but it is kind of nice just to be going towards an actual fire, not just have everything be so bleak. Can't so, feel my hands. Sort of it adds to the ambiance a little bit of it. Yeah, it's starting to get cold a little. And negative nine degrees. We're gonna have lots of uh we're going to be able to make lots of lines and hooks and things like that. All kinds of stuff with that. I need to drop some. So I, I got like, how many more of these do I got? I got like four more to go. Jeez. Okay. Might have to just do this tomorrow. I guess once I completely get tired, I'll uh, call it quits, but can't afford to be like cold, tired, and hungry with my health that low. It's probably not a good thing. I probably just need to relax and rejuvenate a little bit. 
the main thing's done. The, the main thing was getting the bear quartered up. So that's done. I got the, the hide. We got plenty of guts curing already. And we're going to have three big bags of meat over here. So that, that, that bear's like 36 kilograms. I mean, it's huge. That's how much meat we're getting off this thing. So, what was it? The wolf or Freezing. wolf or whatever was like 4.4, 5, somewhere around there. So, yeah, it's, that's pretty good. All right, let's get inside. We're going we're gonna to take too much of a condition hit. We'll just uh, deal with this in the morning. And, uh, yeah, just get some good rest. And do a little bit more transporting in the morning. I wish we could make, like, a sledge or something like that that we could pull around. Maybe, maybe find a sled. You could pull that around, kind of like a Neo Scavenger. Love that game. That's such a good game. Sorry, I was getting a drink while I was trying to maneuver up here. All right, so we're good there. All right, let's just go ahead and grab a. How much is this? 19 calories and 518. That's pretty good. And uh, that's a little much. 518. Okay. I guess we'll take that one. Okay. We'll eat those three pieces of meat. Get some good get some good sleep here. I don't think I have any more. Oop, nope. I didn't want to drink that. Why did I drink that? Yeah, don't drink that. I meant to hit back. There we go. Okay, let's let's eat this up here. Five eighteen. Might as well eat the nineteen calorie one. And most of this one. I think we're good there. 793, that's pretty good. Okay, let me drop a piece I didn't eat out here. I, ate, I only ate like half of it. So let me drop that over here. There we go. Save that for later. Get another drink here. It's 250. That's a little much. I might save that. All right, wonderful. Very productive. This uh, this episode has been very productive. We didn't move very far at all. We barely left this area. Went over the hill a little bit. That was it, but it's been very productive. Let's go ahead and get some good sleep here. Recover. We're probably going to get up to about 50% condition. We'll try to protect that as much as we can. Try to get back up to the 90, 95 range, ideally. Uh, so we're healed of the parasites. That means we can have another piece of that meat if we'd like. And be gonna need to pretty reasonably soon. safe. So we're not gonna do that right now, though. We're gonna let him. S oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. Negative thirty-two. Ooh. Uh, I don't really want to go wandering around in this. So um, let's take one of these I'm inside. Leave something behind. Oh, they're frozen now. I forgot they'd freeze. Yeah. We'll put them in here. Let them thaw. And then we'll get the meat off of these as well. And we'll do a huge cooking sesh. Probably, after we get back from Milton, we'll do a big cooking sesh here. There we go. Let's start yeah, thawing out there. It's already at 97%. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, all right. Guys, I think we'll end this episode here. We've got a few more bags to go grab and bring back here, along with a bunch of guts. Um, the Aurora's out. The sun's about ready to get up here. But uh, as of right now... Things are going pretty good for us. I uh, might go over here and grab this rabbit while we're here too. I think there was a rabbit. Over. Well, I'll let him live for a little bit longer. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll uh, have some more rabbits while I'm gone. But uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to become a Patreon member, head on over to patreon.com forward slash accurize2. For as little as $1 a month, you can be a uh, producer as well. Until the next one, see you then.